Africa's most respected creative photographer at the Bogoto Awards. Marlene Newman is a master fine art photographer who hot on the heels of the release of a book titled Sky Meets Land is a cultural icon. And today, Lebu Tinani and I put her under the spotlight. Marlene, thank you so much for welcoming us into this space. Thank you, Lebu. Thank you, Timmy. Marlene, take us back to a 14-year-old Marlene who discovered, just discovered that you can take photographs. I think it was more a 14-year-old girl, lady, young lady who realized that communication wasn't easy through a language. It couldn't really, words couldn't really express how she was actually feeling inside. And the first time I took a photograph was when I was 14 years old in the darkroom at a school. And uh, I realized that that created a reaction from the person that was looking at it. And hence I started to realize that I can communicate through taking pictures. A photograph says much more than a thousand words. Well, in much as we might credit the universe for making things around us possible, who would you thank for making that moment possible? You know, we, to me, that's, a, that's an interesting question. I think we, we, we talk about people influencing our lives, but I think we, we don't give our own higher selves enough credit. We always think it's something outside of ourselves that's influencing us. But I think I would have to say my higher self, my adult self, when I was a little girl, that stepped in and said, don't be afraid that you can't communicate. This is a way that you can speak. Does that mean that you were a quiet child growing up and photographs were your voice? Yes, I would say that, and animals. I spent a lot of, I come from a family with, uh, there's four girls, <laughs> and I was the youngest. And I think that, um, yes, I think that, that photographs became my way of connecting to, to nature. Mm. I spent a lot of time with, with animals, and, um, and through that I was able to communicate and express express who I was. Every time the name Marlene Neumann is mentioned, the first thing that's going to come up is obviously photographs. But the second thing that always comes up must be your workshops. Tell us a little about those. What happens in these very revered <laughs> workshops? And you'll have to come and experience it, both of you ladies. We've had some really famous people come on them. Um, the workshops are very interesting. They are teaching people um, to connect through their cameras, to not be intimidated by all this technology mm -hmm. that you see around you, because photography is a very technical process. And cre I've never really have to, to battle with the technology. It's more me tuning into whatever I'm photographing that, that comes through. So it's about uh, intuition, it's about tuning in, it's about creativity and it's not me giving you a formula. It's about you unraveling your own creativity and finding who you are through the camera. Why teach though? Um, is that your I second calling? Yeah. Oh, I love teaching. I think when I left, I was, I was head of a department of uh, graphic design for 20 years mm. and I had to decide, do I do photography? Do I follow my spiritual path? Do I teach? What do I do? So I threw it all together. Yeah. <laughs> and I did, as I was saying to you earlier on, the label, a bit of an oddball, but yeah. Interesting that you call it a spiritual path. Why is that? I think we're all on a spiritual path. And I think many people hide that. Mm -hmm. they, they shy away from that and they keep it only for Sundays when they go for ch to church for an hour. But it's, it's a way of life. It's we are spiritual beings and everything we do, whether we're cooking a meal, whether we're taking a photograph, it's all connected to who we are. Mm -hmm. And I'm not shy to say that anymore. <laughs> I'm getting too old now. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this Neumann technique. It's something that I, when I was young, I, I actually developed a technique. I studied um, the old masters from the 1940s, the American photographers. Um, I must have been about 24 years old. And um, I even made uh, egg. If I used to make my own photographic emulsion, dry it in the darkroom, expose it in the sunlight for five to six hours, make my own paper. The chemicals were, were with egg, egg using egg white and egg uh, yellow mixed with potassium diachromate and, and other chemicals and I, I was fascinated by the old masters and uh, from there I actually developed my own chemicals, my own formula and um, I'd like to add to that if I've got a second mm -hmm. is that photography was never ever accepted as an art form. 14 or 17 years ago when I tried to exhibit my work in a gallery in Johannesburg they turned me down. Mm -hmm. They said sorry photography is not an art, we can't exhibit 
photography. So to see it as a category at the Nkokoro Awards was quite, quite something. So I set out 30 years ago to, to turn photography into an art form mm -hmm. in South Africa. So that's hence the, the Neumann technique. Mm -hmm. Take us back to your childhood and what your household was like. You know, describe it to somebody who might not even know what growing up in this household was like. We were all females. Yeah. I think my dad was totally outnumbered. Even the dogs were females. <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine it was five women, three dogs that were all females and my father. So yeah, we, I, I had a very um, warm upbringing, loving, caring, nurturing um, home. Yeah. Malin, sky meets land which Lebu refuses to let go. <laughs> the minute you hold it, the quality of the material used to produce the book is very evident and the quality of the photographs is just breathtaking. What are you proudest of when it comes to sky meets land? What am I proudest of is the fact that I was able to put who I am into a book. You know, very often um, what happens in a it, b behind a camera is that people see the photographs they never meet the photographer they never really understand who's taking the they think they understand by just looking at the picture so often I would go to my shows and and I would just might as well be a sales lady mm -hmm. <laughs> no one would ever even connect me with the pictures mm -hmm. so I wanted to put my voice or my heart into a book where where people could read about the person I felt I had so much to say and uh, and what I'm proudest of most of all is that I did it. Marlene, let me ask you Lebu Tsunami's favorite <laughs> cultural icons question. What makes photography still worth waking up for? The fact that I'm alive, the, the fact that I can see, I can feel, I can hear. Photography is about awareness. Mm -hmm. And if you're not aware, you can't really do photography. Marlene, who would you say are some of your greatest influences in your work? Home, everywhere. I think I would have to say label the people that have not necessarily made my life easier. Mm -hmm. The people that have challenged me, the people that have sometimes given me a lot of uphill. I think they've made my life worthwhile waiting up to f get out there and fight back or challenge me or to know my strength. And then my dearest mother. Mm -hmm. okay. Marlene, thank you so much. Uh, it's been such an amazing afternoon. So much for spending time with us. Thank you, Lebo. Thank you to Master Fine Art Photographer Marlene Neumann, who's just released a book titled Sky Meets Land, was a cultural icon for this week.